In this example, we want to evaluate the derivative of the inverse function at 63, uh, where we're given our function as x cubed minus 1. Okay. All right, so the first step is to find the uh, corresponding value of 63 in the domain. Okay. All right, so the first step is to solve for okay, x cubed minus 1 equals to 63. We need to solve for that, okay, because uh, we are given, okay, so here's, right, here's our set domain. Uh, this is our function, okay, all right, and this is, right, so we have a range, and then f inverse is, is here. So this is, so this is the domain for f inverse, and this is the range for f inverse, okay? So the value that we're given is here, okay, 63. And we want to find the corresponding value in the domain of f, okay? So we need to find what that value is, okay? All right, so that's the first thing we need to do, okay? So we can go ahead and solve for that. So we're going to have x cubed minus 1 equals to 63. So we have x cubed equals to 64. Take the cube root of both sides. So the cube root of 64 is going to be 4. Okay. So that means here, okay, we have the value of 4. Okay. So 4, okay. So 4 gets mapped to 63. Okay. So now this allows us to work with the uh, with the function we're given. Okay, so the next step is that we want to evaluate, okay, okay, evaluate the derivative of f at x equals to 4. Okay, all right, so the derivative for a function for the function we're given is uh, just using the power rule, it's going to be 3x squared. Okay, so f prime of 4 is going to be 3 times 4 squared. And so that's going to give us the value of 48. Okay, so the third step is to take the reciprocal of that. Okay. Okay, so you take the reciprocal of the um, of the derivative evaluated at that point. Okay, so this is going to give us okay our result. Okay, so we have f of so f inverse. So the derivative of that evaluate at our point of sixty three is one over forty eight. Okay, so that is, their, that is the solution, okay? So, um, so again, going back up here, okay, so you solve for your corresponding x value in the domain, okay, you just do that by setting the function equal to the value that they give you, okay, and that, and solving that will give you the value that, in the domain of f. And then you evaluate the derivative at that point that we just found, and then we take the reciprocal of that result, okay?